Hello? Who is it? Oh, it's you. Hi, I'm here for the sleepover. Hey, hey, get out of bed. Billy's here. Oh, oh, that's cool. Can you just let him in, Mom? He's not my friend. You have to let him in. But I just woke up from a nap. I don't care. The less I have to speak to that delinquent, the better. Hey, Billy. Sorry about my mom. Come on in. Okay. Hey, look who I found out here. What's up, dudes? Richard? Why are you standing outside my house? I heard you guys were having a sleepover, and I burnt my house down by accident, so I uh, kind of need a place to stay. Um, I don't know, Richard. You're kind of dangerous to be around. Are you kidding me? Richard is one of the most popular guys in school. If word gets out that we had a sleepover with him, we'll be like the coolest people ever. <sighs> Fine, you can stay at my house, but please don't do anything naughty. My mom is very strict. What are you, Santa? Trust me, dude, I'll be very well behaved. Okay, come on in. I hope I don't regret this. So, this is your room, huh? Yeah, why? It's kind of lame. There's like no personality in here. Well, he's got this Baby Yoda picture on the wall. That's personality. Yeah, but he doesn't have any posters of Exploded Coffin. Exploded Coffin? What's that? Exploded Coffin is probably one of the best bands on the planet. Billy, give me your phone. I'll play some music for you. Uh, I don't know. My mommy doesn't usually let me listen to music that's gonna corrupt my mind. Relax, bro. It's not gonna corrupt your mind. <laughs> Disrespect everybody in the world. Oh, everybody music deserves music to be well. disrespected. Kill me. everybody if you have to. You're the man and nobody can tell you what to do. My gosh, that was so loud. Who is playing that god awful music? Ah, I should have known. Billy is trying to make you listen to his delinquent music. No, it's not my music, I swear. Well, why was the music coming from your phone, Billy? Mom, no, it wasn't Billy. I don't want to hear it. That's strike one, Billy. Don't get to strike three. You've been warned. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, your mom is so uptight, bro. She was like so mad at Billy. But it wasn't Billy's fault. Yeah, it was yours. Hey, you don't blame me for anything. That is the number one rule. Plus, it's not my fault you were standing in front of me. <laughs> she doesn't even know that I'm here. Whatever, guys, it's over. Billy, don't give Richard your phone anymore. And Richard, please don't do anything else that's gonna get us in trouble. Fine, dude, whatever. Let's just watch a movie or something. Oh, have you guys ever seen a rated R movie before? <sighs> Richard, I don't think we should be doing this. What if my mom hears dirty language? There's no bad language in Dastardly Daniel 5. It's rated R because of blood and gore. I've only ever seen a rated PG movie before. I'm not even allowed to watch rated PG-13. If my mom finds out that we're watching a rated R movie, she's gonna kill me. Well, just don't tell her then. Oh, everyone shut up. The movie's starting. Let's kill these. <gasps> Cowboys. Nice. Richard, I thought you said there's no bad language in this. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that part. Why am I hearing curse words coming out of this room? <gasps> you boys are watching Dastardly Daniel 5? That movie holds the record for the most curse words in a single movie. Mom, I can explain. Billy, I know this was your idea. <gasps> no, no, it wasn't me. It was... Shh. <gasps> yes. It was me. Billy, I am this close to calling your mother. No, no, please don't. Um, uh, I'll behave. Do not let something like this happen again. Understand? Yes. This is strike two. You boys are up to something. I know it. <sighs> Richard, what the heck? 
You made Billy take the blame again? Who cares, man? Let's keep watching. No, if my mom finds out about this, she's gonna send me back to good boy camp. And I cannot go back there, Richard. I can't do it. We're done with this movie. Let's just play a video game. Oh, Grand Theft Auto. That's a good kid's game. Oh no. No, something rated E for everyone. Seriously, Lego Star Wars? This is a baby game. No, it's not, Richard. It's popular amongst kids and adults alike. Yeah, and some of the levels are actually really tough, like this pod racing level. I can never beat it. <sighs> you guys are wimps. I bet I could beat this game in like five minutes. Give me the controller. Ugh, let me try this again. Ugh. Ah! What the heck? Why is this so hard? Hey cousin, can I play with you guys? No, shut up little boy. You're gonna make me lose my focus. Get out of here. I do not want a repeat of what happened last time where you tattletale on us. Oh, well can I at least watch? <sighs> Fine. Oh, 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 I almost got it. Oh! Uh-oh, Richard said curse words. Wow, those are my new favorite words. Richard, don't say those words in front of my little cousin. Great, now he's gonna be saying it all the time. I'm gonna go tell your mom about the new word that I learned. Hey, Antsy, Antsy! <sighs> Richard, I think you should leave. Yeah, you've been kind of a bad influence today. Yeah, whatever. I just needed a place to sleep for tonight. I guess I'll call up my last resort. Yo, Trevor. Oh my gosh, Richard? Are you calling me because you want to hang out with me? I need a place to sleep tonight, man. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, dude. You can totally sleep here. We can even share a bed if you want. My dad has his girlfriends over, but that shouldn't matter. They usually don't pay attention to me anyway. <sighs> You see what you made me do? All right, I'm out of here. Peace out, dudes. Richard, you know there's a door right over there. Later. Does someone want to explain why your little cousin is saying curse words? Richard was here, Mom, and he's been saying bad words. He's actually done every single thing that you've blamed Billy for. Oh, really? Because your cousin said that the boy with the crazy hair taught him those words. What? My hair's not crazy. Richard's hair is crazier than mine. Billy, I know this is your fault. You have reached your third and final strike. No, I swear, I would never say a naughty word. Yeah, I've been trying to tell you, Mom, it's Richard. That poor, sweet, innocent boy from your class, he's not even in this room. Richard, oh, Richard, where are you? He just jumped out that window. <sighs> Nothing but lies and curse words come out of your mouth, Billy. I'm calling your mother. No, not my mommy. Yes, your mommy. Hello? Hello, is this Billy's mother? Why yes, this is his mom. Well, I'm just calling to let you know that your son has been listening to explicit music, watching dirty movies, and saying curse words. What? What? When that boy gets back here, I swear I'm sending him straight to good boy camp. He has disrespected me for the last time. I thought he learned how to behave, but clearly I was wrong. That boy is going to sleep on the streets for the next week. I'm coming to pick him up now. Well, Billy, I feel slightly sorry for you, but you got what you deserved. Hey, does anyone in here mind if I sleep on the roof? It's much better than staying at Trevor's house. Wait a second. Richard was here this whole time? Well, Billy, first you act naughty around my son, and then you invite an unwanted guest into my house without my permission. What's gonna be next with you, boy? <sighs> I give up. I guess I'm going back to good boy camp. <laughs>